democracy is in crisis. Across the West, political leaders are failing to take a hard look in the mirror, perhaps because they may not like what they see. Democracy has been defined by several scholars in different aspects and in different ways. But my own pers perspective, or should I say my own view on democracy, is all about creating op opportunity for positive change in the lives of the people. We are celebrating 30 years since the fall of the Berlin Wall, the return of independence, democracy, and individual freedom to Eastern Europe. In 1989, We ran a global survey, probably the biggest survey on democracy across all the countries that we polled. A large majority of people said it is important for my country to be democratic. I have freedom, human rights and democracy in my DNA. We see more people wanting to participate in democratic processes, in elections, going to parliament, organizing themselves, even at grassroots. They are just asking us to be straightforward, to stop corruption in order for the resources to go into their development, their opportunities, their education. And until and unless we begin to listen to that, we will find ourselves in a situation where democracy, yes, but it's when we get to elections, it's a facade. For those of us that grew up in the post-World War II generation, we had this belief that uh, the trend towards further democratization with year after year more people living in free society, more people able to practice their faith, uh, to write what they will, say what they will, love whom they would, uh, was somehow inexorable. That, uh, as Martin Luther King said, the moral arc of the universe may be long, but it bends towards justice. It felt like it was always bending towards greater, uh, more liberal democracy and representative government, only to find out there was nothing inexorable about it. I want to use the example of electricity. Once electricity came through, it was the age of electricity. There was, even if there was a village somewhere in the world that did not have electricity, that did not mean we don't have electricity. We have democracy. We know what it means to have a democracy. It's a system that gives the right and the freedoms and, and equality to people to practice and live together in peace. Democracy doesn't solve every problem in the world. It doesn't create heaven on earth, uh, but it delivers for people. And I think there's a role for all of us in democracies to think about how do we make democracy work better. We have discussed um, technology and democracy, how the new social media platforms affect democracy positively because more people can communicate directly, but also negatively. Hello, Mr. President. Thank you for joining us at the Global Democracy Summit. It is great to have you here with us. Hello, everybody. It's great to speak to you all. You know, I love democracy. Nobody loves democracy like I do. I think that's why I got elected. Well, Mr. President, we have created a fake version of you. I'm sorry, the line is very bad. Can you say that again? I thought you said something about a fake version of me. Yes, uh, using machine learning, our friends at faculty have created something that looks and sounds very much like you. It's called a deep fake. 97% of Filipinos on the internet are on Facebook. Facebook is our internet. Facebook and I, we're frenemies. We love each other, we hate each other. The internet, social media tech platforms have really shown that information is power. And part of that statistic, you can read in two ways, right? Part of our biggest problem right now is we don't know what the facts are. Let's prove Putin wrong. Thank <clears throat> you.